everyone. I'm Katie Carosa, and I'm the Value-Based Programs Manager at the Kentucky Regional Extension Center. I'd like to thank you all for taking some time out of your day to learn about setting SMARTY goals. Um, this presentation will give you simple, practical strategies that you can use to set yourself up for success. So what are SMARTY goals? Um, SMARTY stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, time-bound, inclusive, and equitable. Um, SMART goals provide focus, clarity, and direction for your efforts, and they can help you increase motivation, um, enhance your performance, monitor progress, and achieve success. Um, defining these parameters as they relate to your goal helps to ensure that your objectives are attainable within a certain time frame and are also targeted towards specific populations to achieve equitable outcomes. The S in SMARTY stands for specific. Um, specific goals are clear, well-defined, and answer the questions what, why, and how. So a vague goal might sound something like, I want to be healthy. Um, but a specific goal could be, I'll exercise three times a week for 30 minutes to improve my cardiovascular health. M stands for measurable. So in order for a goal to be effective, it needs to be measurable. Measurable means that progress to the goal can be tracked over time and that the result of your goal can be quantified. So think how much or how many. A stands for achievable. So in order for goals to be effective, they must be realistic. Um, achievable goals are realistic and attainable given your resources and constraints. So something unachievable might be, I'll run a marathon next month having never run before. But an achievable goal might sound like, I will complete a 5K run in six months after training regularly. R stands for relevant, and relevant goals align with your values and your long-term objectives. So this could be also supporting the achievement of your team or organizational goals. So an example of an irrelevant goal might be, I will learn to play the guitar, even though I have no interest in music. Um, but a relevant goal could be, I will take a public speaking course to improve my communication skills for my job. T stands for time bound. Um, so time bound goals have a clear time frame for completion. So what's an appropriate deadline for achieving your goal? How are we tracking our progress? Um, we want to specify a due date, a time, or a frequency. I stands for inclusive. So in order for goals to be impactful, they must be inclusive. Um, this means bringing traditionally marginalized people, um, particularly those folks who are most impacted, into processes, activities, and decision-making in a way that shares power. And E stands for equitable. So in order for goals to be impactful, they must be equitable. Um, and this means that the goal is seeking to address systemic injustice, inequity, or oppression. So I'd like to share some tips for writing SMARTY goals. Um, number one, start each goal with an action word. So some kind of verb. For example, increase, complete, attain, um, some kind of action word. Number two, we want to limit the number of goals um, in order to make your overall performance realistic. So limit yourself to two to three goals. That's the perfect amount to work on, be able to devote the amount of time and energy and resources that you need in order to be successful. Um, involve stakeholders in the development of the goal to get buy-in and perspectives from the people who will be impacted. Um, schedule step backs and avoid writing all or nothing goals. So put some time on the calendar to really like Take a step back and look and see, are, am I making the progress that I was hoping I would be? What does my performance look like? Do I need to allocate more resources, more time? Am I performing better than I anticipated? Um, it's really good to periodically check in on your performance and understand where you stand in relation to your goal. Um, and then make sure that your goals cascade and connect. Um, this could mean that your goals are slightly related. So when you're working on performing your improving your performance on one goal, you might also be um, indirectly increasing your performance in another goal. I wanted to share a couple of SMARTY goal examples that I put together to um, really illuminate 
the key pieces of a SMART goal. So we have a legend down here in the bottom right hand corner. Um, you'll see that the action verbs are in royal blue. So increase, achieve, expand. Um, our measurement, we, uh, the first example, 5%. The second example, four out of five points. Um, the third example, 500 tablets. We're trying to quantify what we're looking to do. Um, our population, and this is going to bring in the um, inclusive and equitable, the I and the E of our goal setting. So our first population of focus would be men ages 45 to 60. Um, our second goal population um, is targeting Hispanic patients. And then our third population is um, patients living in rural areas of Kentucky. And then our time bound, our due date is going to be in teal. Um, so the first example that June 30th of 2024, um, the second one, December 30th of 2024, and the third one, the end of 2025. Here are a couple more resources that are available online that can help you set SMART goals. Um, this first link here is a SMART goals worksheet. It's a template that you can use um, in order to fill in all of the pieces of a SMART goal. Um, it breaks it down nice and easy. Um, the second link is from Smart to Smarty, and this talks about how to embed inclusion and equity into your goals. And then the third link is just a couple more tips for goal setting. I'd like to say thank you for your time. Um, I appreciate you spending some time learning about Smarty Goals with me today, and I hope you enjoy the conference.